Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 61 of my TV. And because I feel like it's been a long time since we've seen, since we've seen my trusty sidekick, Ralph, I thought I would bring him into the episode um, to help me deliver one of the most important reasons why it is so important to outsource and for you to do the things that you do best. Sorry, Ralph, I'm not going to keep you here the whole time. I don't think he's enjoying this too much. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I did a, um, an exercise called Roger Hamilton's Talent Dynamics. I'm sure lots of you have heard of it. And it's a series of questions. Each of them, each question has four answers. You make your way through, it takes about 10, 15 minutes. And at the end, it gives you a profile of what you are like in business and life. And ultimately, what you, where your flow is found, what you enjoy doing best, where you most, um, where you like vibrate at the highest frequency. You know, you know those moments when you do your really best work and you're in flow. So mine was a supporter, which ultimately is um, this person is best in flow when they are like leading the team by encouraging them and letting the team kind of find their own way and not necessarily taking the credit from the front. A supporter likes to be the key person of influence, Daniel Priestley style, it likes to be the face of the business, grow partnerships, connect with people, networking, and those are all the areas. Um, so it's like sales, marketing, partnerships, being the face is where I kind of, I'm, I'm enjoying my business the most. And it's been like that ever since I started my business. Obviously, when it was just me, I did it, and I did all the other stuff as well. As time's gone on, I slowly but surely have had more time to dedicate to the things where I operate best, you know, where I'm creating the, the strategy and the partnerships and the things that will grow, move the business forward. So um, ultimately, it's really important to understand what things you do do best and outsource everything else. Now, I do have um, outsourced people that work with me and I have an employed team, as you know. So one of my team, Matt, took the test as well. And ultimately, he is a mechanic, which um, a supporter and a mechanic work apparently amazingly well together. So Matt gets things done. I come up with the ideas and connections and bring sales in. And Matt is the operations person. And that is actually exactly what was happening anyway. But what Matt enables me to do is to operate at my highest level, to do all those things that I do so well and nobody else can do in the business. I am capable of writing processes and putting operational procedures in place. And I was a PA, obviously, like 10 years ago. But even though I'm capable of doing them, it doesn't mean what I really want to get across on today's my TV. It doesn't mean that I am I should be spending my time doing that. You know, I can get Matt to do that. He loves that, and that's where he really flourishes. I flourish in a completely different place, but together it works really well. So today I want you to think about why it's so important to outsource stuff. Yes, I'm sure you are more than capable, you know, you've started a business, I'm sure you are more than capable of doing all the things you need to do in your business. Does it mean you should? Absolutely not, and it will hold you back. So one of the big pushes for this year, and you know I'm really keen on sharing with you like what I'm actually doing now in my PA, and, and showing with you throughout 2018, how, what effect that's had and, and where it will lead us to. Um, but we're solely focused now on freeing up my time so I can make sales, I can do the marketing. Um, I think we're getting a bit of a heckler at the side of this office. Um, but I'm absolutely freed up to do all the things that I do best. And so that's why me and Matt are working together well. And I just want you, the same to happen for you, that you can operate in your business where you are and where you absolutely excel and get the right team around you whether it's outsourced you know virtual employed whatever is the right thing for you just make sure that you're doing that um, and that that works well for you so i hope this little tip gets your head out of the dirt and into the clouds think about what you do best and and absolutely be laser focused to try and outsource and get a team around you to do the rest and that's when your business really flies um, and so i will see you next week for episode 62. See you then, bye-bye.